You see it now in some places. People watering lawns again when they've been letting them go brown. Sure, California is still in record drought, four years and counting. But rain is coming. Maybe lots of it. Around here, they're calling it the Great Wet Hope. This is the Godzilla El Nino. El Nino, a massive patch of warm water in the equatorial Pacific that could change weather patterns across the world. Typically, it means more rain on the Pacific coast and a milder winter west of the Rockies. We're kayaking down the street in Los Angeles, and they're playing golf in February in Minneapolis. Climatologists suspected it was coming. Now they're predicting it'll be even bigger than they thought, possibly the El Nino of our generation. The signal that we see in the Pacific from space is actually larger than it was in August of 1997. 1997, a massive El Nino that brought floods, mudslides, and hurricanes. For areas facing critical water shortages, the idea of getting a year's worth of precipitation in one winter sounds appealing, but Patzer tells me... Be careful what you wish for, because El Nino comes at you like a fire hose, and so you're standing there with a champagne glass trying to catch a little water. In the meantime, the hillsides behind you are sliding down into your neighborhood. And even with El Nino, it'll take years of above normal rain and snow to erase California's drought. And there's a big if. If it matures and actually comes to fruition. Experts say don't buy that arc now. They've been wrong before. El Ninos are hard to predict. And this year, something's making it even trickier. Lurking out there in the North Pacific is a different mass of warm water, 800 kilometers wide, known as the blob. This phenomenon is making California's climate even drier. So scientists wonder what happens when these two conflicting weather patterns collide. It's kind of like a bad horror movie, Godzilla El Nino versus the blob. What actually happens depends on where El Nino peaks and when it fades. Climatologists say it could be historic or it could be not much of anything at all. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Los Angeles.